Revit Architecture allows you to create project datum anywhere in 3D space. Levels are a type of datum and are fundamental to working in Revit. Many elements in the model rely on them. Just as grids provide a vertical framework, levels provide the horizontal or stacking framework for your project. Model objects in Revit usually associate themselves with the current level, whether placed in a plan or other views. They are essentially the active work plane unless you specify otherwise during the placement of elements. You may only create new levels in section and elevation views. Notice that the Level tool from the Datum panel on the Home tab is inactive in the current Plan view. Open the South Elevation view from the Project Browser list. There are two levels in this file, and there are corresponding floor plans and ceiling plans for the given levels. The Site plan is a copy of the Level 1 plan with different view properties from Level 1. You create levels by using the Level tool. When the tool is active, Revit Architecture will display offset dimensions from existing levels. You can draw levels as the default option by clicking to place first the tail, and then you drag your cursor you specify an offset value on the options bar, allowing you to sketch on the level you wish to offset from. Or you can directly enter at the keyboard after placing the level by selecting the temporary dimension. I will specify 12 feet. I'll undo that last action so that I can show you some other behaviors of placing the level. I'll click to place my first point and drag to the right and when your cursor point is directly over the tail or head of an existing level there will be an alignment for an extension plane that will show and if you click to place the head or the tail at this point the ends of the level lines will be aligned and their ends will now be constrained. Notice how I can select a level and when I hover over the end grip I will receive a tooltip stating I can drag to change the model extents. The level tool, like all other tools in Revit, remains active until you click modify or Press Escape twice to terminate the tool completely. You can also copy levels. If you select a level, you can use the Create Similar or Copy from the Modify Levels contextual ribbon bar. When you copy a level up or down, note that the level you have copied has a different color head. This indicates that it does not have an associated referencing view. Notice that there are no floor plan and ceiling plan views. When you use the level tool rather than copying, the default option is to make a plan view. In Revit Architecture, you can make ceiling plans or floor plans or both by default. For instance, check floor plan and create a new level and you will have a resulting floor plan but no ceiling plan created for the new level. Levels will number incrementally. If you change your numbering system or the name of a level, Revit will ask you if you wish to change the corresponding views. You can separate the name of the view in the project browser from the name of a level that is associated with it. For instance, Floor 5 is actually going to be viewed in a Level 5 plan view and my new level will be named Floor 6. 
Again, levels number incrementally. Levels and grids will work together. If you open up any of the floor plan views above the heights of the grids that were placed, two of the grids are not visible. Grids will be visible in plan views where the grid line intersects the plane of the view. Understanding this, you'll generally want to have at the very least your upper and lowermost level datum placed in the model. Do this prior to creating grids. If you don't do this, you will have to manually assign the heights of the grids in the vertical views that they intersect.